Recently, we've redesigned the Content Writer and Outline Builder interface to provide a more seamless workflow for generating content. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Revamp Content Writer to generate your outline and content. First, choose your article type. For product AI articles like roundout, reviews, and comparisons, check out the product AI tutorial video. For this video, I'll demonstrate generating a general article. Then enter your target keyword, the main keyword you want to rank for when people search for it. For general articles, I would suggest using informational search intent keywords. You can also use long tail keywords. To get some keyword ideas, you can use our keyword research tool. Then, if you have a folder, you can add the document to it here. Then hit Create Document. The document will be created down here in the document listing and you can also see the progress. Wait for it to finish loading. Once done, click on it. Now you will generate the outline. Start by choosing your word count. If you're not sure what to choose, here's what you can do. Go to our keyword research tool and look up your target keyword. Then look at the average word count of the top ranking pages in the SERP analyzer. We don't recommend choosing a really high word count as it can lead to repetitive content. Also, please note that the final word count may vary depending on the outline you create. You also have the option to import your own custom outline instead of using SearchGraph's outline. This is perfect for if you have your own requirement or template or you generate outlines using another tool. To do that, toggle here. Then paste your headings like this. To change a heading to H3 or H4, hit space. Next, toggle information you want to be auto-generated in the outline. Even if you deselect all at this stage, you can still add them later. Then click Generate Outline. Next, you'll come to the Edit Outline stage. You'll have to wait while Longform AI generates your outline. On the left here, you can edit or add your content goal. Then you can hide the sidebar to give more space for your outline. At the top here, you have the option to add headings, tables, lists, table of content, and FAQ. Click on this to set your view preferences. Click on this to collapse or expand your outline. Clicking on the autofill all button will auto-generate the talking points, questions, and contextual terms for each heading section. To edit a specific heading section, just click on it. Then you can edit the heading, the talking points, add or remove questions, and add or remove contextual terms. On the side here, you have the option to add subheadings, tables, and bullet lists. For the table and bullet list, you can customize them as you want. To remove a table or bullet list, simply click on it again on this sidebar. You can also duplicate a heading section, regenerate the information, or remove the heading. To rearrange the order, simply drag the heading sections. For the FAQ section, you can list your own questions if you have any. If not, you can leave it blank as Longform AI will generate them for you. On the right side, you'll see your topic coverage meter. The topic coverage meter compares the headings in your outline with those of the top 10 pages. The more topics covered by the top 10 you include in your content, the higher your score. So if your score is good or excellent, it means you've covered a good range of topics covered by the top 10. If your topic coverage is low, you can increase it by going to the Topics tab here and adding more top topics. Click the plus icon here and it will get added as a H2 heading. Then you can fill in the information yourself or click Autofill with AI. Next is the SERP Analysis tab. This shows the pages ranking on the first page, usually the top 10. To see the full list, click on the drop-down, then click on one to see the details. You will see the title, URL, and the content brief, which are the H2s. You can check this box to show the H3s. If you like a heading, you can copy paste it into your outline. Next is the questions tab, which contain popular questions people are asking. We get these questions from the SERP and various other sources. If you add these questions to your outline, Longform AI will try to answer them when it generates your content. If you see this icon, you can hover over it to see the answer. To add a question, click on a heading, then click the Copy button. Next, the Contextual Terms tab. Contextual terms are keywords most frequently used by the top ranking pages. By including more of these terms, you boost the contextual relevancy of your content, helping Google understand what it's all about and giving it a better chance to rank. 
To add a contextual term, click on a heading section and then click on the plus icon. The setting widget here is the SERP setting. The topics, questions, and contextual terms I mentioned before are all retrieved from the top ranking pages on the SERP. But not all of the top ranking pages might be relevant to you. They might be of poor quality or you simply don't want to benchmark against some pages. So what you can do is toggle it off here. Doing this excludes the page from benchmarking so you won't be suggested topics, questions, and terms found on this page. You can also see the terms, intent, words, target keyword density, and readability. Once you're happy with the outline, you can export it or move on to the next step, which is writing the actual content. Hit start writing, then choose your settings. By default, we've set the setting to be what we consider the best, but of course, this is subjective and depends on your niche and preferences. So you can experiment with the setting to see which one suits you best. Then hit start writing again. Then you'll come to the content writer. It will take a few seconds to generate your content based on your outline. Once it's done, you can review and edit your content. We only did minor changes to the content writer UI, so it's pretty much the same. You can go back to the outline stage by clicking on the drop down here. Click on the pencil icon to add or edit your URL. You can add the document to a folder here. The toolbar here has various tools and features you can use. We moved up the SEO tab so you can optimize your content right away. It's also where the auto optimizer and custom links and keywords optimizer features are. You can also generate and edit your meta description here and scroll down to see the checklist of SEO suggestions. And the rest of the tabs are where you can add topics, questions, links, and contextual terms. To use content vision to generate images, click on the image icon and click AI gallery. To use expert command, highlight some text and hit expert command or hit slash on a new line. Once you're satisfied with your article, hit export to export to WordPress. Exporting to WordPress is also the same as before, but now you have the option to select from multiple WordPress sites to export your content to. And that's it. Hopefully with this tutorial, you can familiarize yourself with the changes we made and start writing awesome content right away. Don't forget to hit like, drop a comment on what you think, and subscribe for more videos like this. For technical support, send an email to help at searchcraft.io. Thanks for watching!